Hi everyone. Um, I know that I usually don't come on on Tuesdays anymore. Uh, it's usually a Friday thing, but I've been getting some requests from people um, about the little dresses that I've been making to put on the cards. So I've been trying to really um, embrace making my own embellishments and you've seen the flowers that I make, the butterflies that I make. Well, I saw on Pinterest these cute little dresses and uh, how you can fold them and I've made actually, hold on. I made one that's really tiny, isn't she cute? Oh my God, love it. Okay, so, um, but I've been making the medium more uh, a more medium sized dress for the cards. So I've gotten a couple of um, messages asking me how I made these dresses. So I thought I would take a couple of minutes tonight and just show you how to fold up these dresses. All right, so let's turn the camera down. All right, so I'm starting with a four by four piece of paper and you fold it in half. real important to make sure that it's um, even because your dress you don't want it to come out cockeyed so you fold it in half um, and I, I kind of do my folds uh, back and forth so that it's easier to maneuver because um, as you get going the folds um, get a little bit tighter and tighter so if you if you automatically just make them back and forth you'll see some of the uh, ways that you're able to maneuver the paper to get the fold to be nice and even so after you fold it in half you're going to take the halves and fold them in half and this is what I mean so what I do is when I fold it in half I tuck that edge right up against the center of the paper and that gives me an exact half fold inside of my half. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side and I tuck it right up against that seam and that gives me a half fold there. So now you have four even parts. Now you're gonna take your second and third section and you're gonna fold those in half. So what I do is, again, I get that fold that I had done before and make that um, you know, both ways and then I take that seam and I butt it right up against the center seam again. Okay. And then I do the same thing with the third section. I take this seam from the fold, the halfway mark of the halfway mark, and I butt that up against that initial half fold. So you have <clears throat> four one inch folds and then the two one inch folds in the center are folded in half. So you have one inch, a half an inch, a half an inch, a half an inch, a half an inch, and one inch. So after you get that folded together, you fold in those four half inches so that it's folded like this. Can you see that? All right, so you've got your fold in half and then those folds are folded in half, and then the two in the center are folded in half. All right, so you end up with a paper that looks like this. All right, so then you wanna make a little, in the center, fold that, and then you wanna make a little ledge so that it goes up. This is actually gonna be the waistband of the dress. So, I compare it to a chair. It kind of looks like a chair. So when it's unfolded, see, like that, okay? So you bring it up and then you turn it over. Make sure that it's even, mine's not even, so I wanna straighten it up some. Make sure it's nice and even because if it's not even, then your folds are gonna be all a mess. All right, so then the back, we're gonna fold a little diamond here. So what that means is this fold here at the top, we're going to first fold in a triangle and then on the other side you're going to fold in a triangle and this is where the neck of the dress is going to be. So your next folds are going to look like that. 
okay? And then you're gonna unfold those, kind of open it up like a little pocket, and then you're gonna push those in. See, they're pushed in. And then you're gonna fold this down, and that's that little diamond I was talking about, okay? Then you're gonna take this whole section up here and this whole section over here, and you're gonna fold this across. And this is what's gonna give you the little V in the dress for your the neck of your dress. So I just wanna make sure I've got it nice and even. All right, that's one side done, and then I'm gonna do this side. All right, so that's the back of the dress, and there's the neck of the dress, okay? So then we're going to open up these here, the little skirt sections, to give it the flare, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your finger right here where I said the waistband is, put your finger up here, and kind of pull it out so that you're flaring it out. Now I can, I've done quite a few of these, so I've gotten pretty good at it. So I can use cardstock or I can use paper. This is paper. I highly recommend the first few that you do absolutely use paper um, because it's so much easier to work with than the cardstock. But as you get used to it, you can use the thicker cardstock. See, I have, let me see if I can show you. All right, over here, this is my little work cart. And this here is all of my scrap papers. As I'm making cards or doing my crafts, I, um, I save all of my scraps. And then that's what I usually make my butterflies or my flowers and now my dresses out of. So we've got this side flared and do the same thing to the other side. And just kind of work it so that you're not ripping the paper, but you're getting it to go so that you can get that fold. So this is where we're at in the front, all right? And this is what it looks like from the back. Okay, so you've just flared out the bottom part of the dress, so that's gonna be the skirt. Now turn it back over on its side, uh, I'm sorry, onto the back, or onto the front so you can see the back. Now these sections here, these outside sections, we're gonna fold in and this is how we get the um, sleeves. So we're going to fold this in. At the top, it's going to be nice and even and square. Do not crease your skirt because that's not how it's going to stay. All right, so see, so you're going to fold this in at the top right there. And then where the skirt is, you're going to maneuver it so that it flares out. All right, so this is what you end up with. A diagonal fold on there and a straight fold on the top. So a straight fold for the sleeve and the skirt, you wanna go out into that diagonal fold. Because remember, this is what our finished product's gonna look like and that's what we're aiming for here, okay? And now let's do the same thing to the other side. So the top part of it is gonna be a straight fold and as you bring it over, what I've been doing is I kind of keep my finger in where that fold for the waistband is. And that kind of makes it naturally uh, flare out for the skirt. So you've got the back of it's gonna look like that now. All right, so your skirt's flared out. And your skirt's kind of finished on the front. Okay, so that's all you're gonna do for that. But now these straight folds that you did here we're gonna make a little V-fold and that's gonna bring the sleeves out on the front of your dress, okay? So I folded the little V in the back and see the front there? There's the little sleeves on our dress. So basically your dress is finished now, all right? And the next thing you can do is decorate it and what I've done is I take some of the white scraps 
that I trim off of um, paper that's about a half an inch and I take my bone folder and I roll it around on there until it kind of separates a little bit. Now watch this one since I want it to do it, it's not going to do it. But anyway, you're going to you want to loosen up the fibers in this so that you can use it and fold up and make it look like a little bit of a petticoat on the bottom of the the uh, skirt. So see how it's all curly and loose and you can really feel the difference in the paper when it gets that way. And then you're just going to do little ribbon folds. It reminds me of, and I haven't seen these in years and years and years and years, but remember the old hard ribbon candies that they used to have out at Christmas time? That's what doing this little fold reminds me of. So I go through and I make a whole bunch of these and I fold these all the way through and it takes some time and you kind of have to be patient and then after I do about an inch or so of them, I usually take the bone folder and kind of flatten them down. And then go back and I do another inch or so more of them. All right, so I would do the whole thing. Sometimes I do two and then depending on how it goes, um, I take my double-sided tape and I just take the little eighth inch double-sided tape and I go along the very top of that pushing it down see and then I peel it off and I stick it underneath of my dress and it looks like a little petticoat hanging out and you'll see on the card that I've already got made the little petticoat see it hanging out there but you can decorate these dresses any way you want. I did one and I put little beads on all of the flowers. I do recommend if you're gonna use print paper, um, use paper that's got small detailed um, designs in it. Don't use really big designs. I, I've done some, let's see here. I've done some with the bigger flowers on it, but I made it a bigger dress. I'm going to use this to decorate a, um, a photo album, and um, I'm going to give it to one of my daughters for her birthday. And I'm going to put some of the pictures of her growing up and then leave the rest of it empty so that she can fill it with um, her own pictures. But I'm going to decorate this dress, do the same thing. I, I can take lace and put it at the bottom. I have, um, I have this tiny very thin paper twist and you can untwist it and that's what I use to make the bows on this dress. Use anything you've got lying around. Um, you know, you can take little tiny buttons and put on it. You can take uh, some of your flat back pearls and decorate with it. Um, any, anything that you want, you can, you know, you, you see all kinds of dresses. Take a dress that you like and kind of mimic what it is that you like about that dress on the dress that you fold. And then depending on the size of them, you can use them to decorate cards. And then this little mannequin thing, I, I cut that out on my Cricut. It, you know, I just looked up um, dress form and found it and cut it out on my Cricut and I glued the dress to the front of it. So, all right, so that's how I do the little folded dress and again it's not my design it's something that I found on Pinterest I even found a cute little pocketbook that goes with it a little folded pocketbook um, so you can you know surf the internet and find all kinds of cute little things to make embellishments out of so all right I am um... <laughs> hi Kathy how are you thank you um, so I, I just enjoy making my own embellishments and it makes the cards that I make more my own. So I hope that I've inspired you to create something and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.